everyone, this is the last word and I'm Maria Shakil. A dispute over inheritance and property, sharp political differences between former Andhra Chief Minister Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy and his sister Vice Sharmila are playing out in full public view in Andhra Pradesh with accusatory private letters going public. Now their mother has released an open letter begging for privacy. But as a reply, the Vice RCP has put another open letter in the public domain. First, the story, then I bring in the guests. The family of former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vice Rajshekhar Reddy in happier times. After futile attempts to broker peace between Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy and his sister Vice Sharmila, their mother, Vice Vijay Lakshmi, has written an open letter appealing to keep the family battle private, hoping the siblings would become amicable someday. In her letter, Vijay Lakshmi says both her children are equal to her, but suggests that her daughter Sharmila had been denied a rightful share of the family property by her son Jagan Mohan Reddy. The YSRCP was quick to rebut the accusation, saying the mother had not been fair to her son. The letter points out that Sharmila had transferred shares of Saraswati power to herself, though she knew they had been attached by investigating agencies and knew it would have legal consequences for Jagan Mohan Reddy, who is facing investigation. That Sharmila had not only joined the Congress, but became its state chief. That the mother had appealed to the people to vote for the Congress ahead of elections, even though it was the Congress that had sent Jagan Mohan Reddy to jail. That Jagan had been patient and restrained, even though Sharmila had repeatedly attacked him in public. That he, in fact, was the victim, not the perpetrator. The open letters have come within days of bitter private letters written by the brother and sister to each other that went public, in which Jagan Mohan Reddy said he was cancelling an MOU that he had signed in 2019 out of love and affection to transfer property in the name of his sister and accused her of repeatedly bringing him disrepute. He declared there was no sibling love left between the two. The sister had replied that Jagan Mohan Reddy had in fact bullied and denied her her rightful share in their father's property. This was after Jagan Mohan Reddy wrote to the National Company Law Tribunal asking for shares transferred to Sharmila in July to be restored to him. Jagan Mohan Reddy has taken on his sister and mother at a time when he's politically on the back foot, having lost decisively to the TDP Janasena BJP alliance. The inheritance dispute comes to the fore at a time when the siblings had already parted ways politically. Sharmila had done a padyatra when Jagan Mohan Reddy was in jail and campaigned extensively to make him chief minister. But after that, a power struggle ensued and Sharmila floated her own YSR Telangana party and ahead of the 2024 elections even became Andhra Pradesh State Congress chief and directly challenged her brother in Andhra Pradesh. With camera person Nagraju, Uma Sudhir, NDTV. All right, let me bring in the guests now. Uma Sudhir, who got us that report, is joining us. We have Pulara, political analyst, Anurag Naidu, political analyst. We'll be joined by Professor Jyotna uh, of TDP shortly. And Satish Reddy is representing the Vice RCP. Uma Sudhir, beginning with you, as someone who tracks the state's politics and understands the mind of these politicians, why do you think Jagan Reddy, who is at his weakest right now, politically has opened a front on the family side. This has been brewing for quite some time now and this is not something that has uh, come out uh, all of a sudden now because the tensions were rising and we did, did see a deterioration in the relations. You would recall that, you know, Sharmila not only did a huge padhyatra for uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy when he was in jail, she also campaigned extensively in order to make him the chief minister and it is subsequently that this power struggle kind of started within the family, nothing very unusual for uh, especially regional parties and families in which there is a legacy to be inherited and for each one of them to be able to claim, make their claim for a position or a piece of the pie itself. And in this particular case, I must say that uh, this has been brewing for some time and there was a uh, issue of, uh, you know, of uh, not just the positions that they wanted and we were hearing at that time as well that Jagan Mohan Reddy did not want anyone else from the family to be there and uh, to be accused of uh, that kind of uh, favor favoritism within the family and that's one reason why he had sidelined his sister and we saw her again uh, going into the and launching her own floating her party uh, away from the state of Andhra Pradesh in the state of Telangana. So something like this 
hurts Jagan Mohan Reddy because not only in Andhra Pradesh but in the country itself, I guess uh, the sentiment is uh, of family and someone who uh, respects family and is close to his family. And I would think even in the run up to the 2024 elections, even though Congress did not make any dent by itself, did not win any seats by itself, but Sharmila being there and campaigning against Jagan Mohan Reddy did hurt him uh, that much more and added to the kind of a persona that uh, Chandra Babu Naidu or a Janasena chief uh, Pavan Kalyan were making him out to be and uh, Sharmila also attacking him, not helping him one bit and now certainly not the opportune time but I think things came to such a pass that uh, it couldn't have happened uh, at any other time and therefore now. Okay, so it has just happened but just look at the letter which was written by the mother here, Pulla Rao. The mother says that Jagan's rise to power owes much to Sharmila's efforts. So there is an acknowledgement on the part of mother that you know, political legacy, yes, he may be the legatee because uh, he has gone on to be the president of ISRCP and, of course, the chief minister later. But then, you know, the, the, the force behind that power is also the sister, and she cannot be overlooked. Well, let me tell you, money, power, property, family. This is a sure cocktail for fighting. We have seen it all over our country. Whether it's Karnakaran's family, Karnanidhi's family, or anyone for that matter, if they go their separate ways. And here, let us look at it clinically. You know, the mother's letter of sympathy. I think the mother, by writing this letter, hmm. has lost her neutral stance. You know, by writing this letter, by making this quarrel open, whatever they could have settled privately is very difficult to do so. The third thing is, clinically or legally, if you say, it was one or two points only. That memorandum of understanding what Mr. Jagan is withdrawing, he's right. A memorandum of understanding has no legal sanctity. He says, I only did it of love, I withdraw it. Then the mother says he was given property by his father, but that was not partition. It was only an arrangement or something. That doesn't stand. The law is very cruel. The law is black and white, will not worry about a mother's sentiment, sister's sentiment, brother's sentiment. It goes by what's on the books. So if you look for the property, and Jagan, I'm only saying what is there in the paper. I don't know the inner working, what are the papers Sharmila will produce. He has the upper hand. As far as the image, the fighting, that's all factored in. It has been going on for two years. The election was a bitter election. Umaji knows very well. Sharmila stood from Kanapa for Parliament also, the home district of Mr. Jagannath Reddy. So there's no law lost. They probably feel coming into the public arena at this time will somehow, you know, affect Jagannath. I don't think so, because this has been going on. For after a few days, this will no longer be there. Hmm. Justice or a fight should go to courts. The public arena will get bored slowly. Okay. So the public fight may not be a great idea here, then why is everything playing out in full public view? How does it help the Chief Minister? What is his calculation, Satish Reddy? No, all of us have to view this in a different angle. Now, Sharmila is not a political force at all. You see, she has launched her party in Telangana. She has lost miserably. She has withdrawn even from the elections. Then they came, she came to Andhra politics. And she got a very little vote share also. So whatever uh, Vijay Lakshmi Garu claims that she was instrumental in uh, uh, making Jagan Mohan Reddy victorious in 2019 elections, I don't accept with that theory at all. Because even without Chandler's ca campaigning also, Jagan Mohan Reddy would have definitely won with the same majority, with the same number of seats. So there's no doubt about that. What we have to see today is, Sharmila has gone wild and she has, she has become very selfish for the sake of properties. Now she has joined hands with the Telugu Desham party, which, which, which is in alliance with the BJP and the Janasena. Today, even the Congress party has to take cognizance of the situation, what is going on here in Andhra Pradesh. Either Congress is also in, in, with, uh, in, in nexus with uh, BJP, is the BJP, Telugu Desham, Congress party, everybody fighting with uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy? No, she no, I'm not too sure if it, no, if no, it no, is no, appropriate for you yes, to say no, no, that no, she has no, joined no. hands 
with the TDP, yes. what evidence do you have? You have to say that yes, first. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm coming to that point. Yes. I'm coming to that point. Yes. A letter has been released by uh, Vyas Sharmila. Who is supposed to release that letter? That letter has to be released by her from, from her Facebook or from her Twitter. That letter has been released by the Facebook of Telugu Desham Party and Telugu Desham Twitter. And that too, they have given one day advance telling that they'll be releasing something new. And they have released a letter of Sharmila. How can Telugu Desham Party release a letter of the PCC okay, president? So that, okay, help us understand that, Anurag Naidu. How does it play out politically then? I mean, why is TDP having access to these letters? Well, I think, look, you know, for people who have been knowing this, uh, you know, entire scene, uh, uh, Vijayamma was never uh, neutral. She was always on the sides of Sharmila, even when she floated a party in uh, in Telangana. And people who know the family from the close corridors, she knows that she's been standing for uh, Sharmila's rights and whatever are the disputes. And politically, if you ask me, look, TDP, I mean, it's kind of a self-goal. If you say that, uh, you know, mother is supporting Sharmila and Sharmila is supporting TDP. Is mother supporting TDP? So the questions all the way, you know, it, there is a letter out in public domain. And uh, of course, by, as, a, as a caveat, it is a family matter. We all have limited jurisdiction or limited, we should all be in control while we, di we discharge our, uh, you know, our speech. But the part of the matter is the letters have come in the public. It is in public interest. And we are talking about a former chief minister who has, who has consistently held close to 40, 45 percent of the vote share is responsible to the people uh, who have voted him to power and whatever is in opposition. Uh, it is responsible to, you know, give his opinion about, look, mother and sister standing opposite to you. There is some dispute out there. Uh, NCLT, I don't want to even get into it because it's black and white, as somebody told it before. I'm given to understand there was an MOU which has been agreed by both sides. She's gone ahead and realized the MOU converting into shares. Now Jagan is going back and challenging that this conversion into share is illegal. That is for NCLT to decide. But what Mr. Chief Minister, the former Chief Minister, had to clarify is what is his outlook going to be to this 40-45% of the vote share that he holds. And that is important because mother and sister claiming something strong and claiming that and also not uh, you know under, undermine the influence of his wife uh, ys bharti right sister has been consistently claiming of ys bharti's influence in entire uh, and a scheme of things so it is very difficult to, to you know there was a murder incident and there was allegation there was a cbi investigation on on the brother of former chief minister I think it's very tough time and it's very important okay. how clinically the former chief minister comes out okay. with right reasoning okay. as a responsible politician okay. here. So Deepak Reddy, the point being made here by Satish Reddy was that why are these letters being written by, you know, written by Sharmila being released by your handles and your social media accounts? Let me <coughs> get to the point straight. YSR party and, you know, somebody who sp speaks on their behalf always try to dodge the facts and they try to deviate from uh, what the actual issue is. That is their standard modus operandi. The issue here is, was the MOU done or not? They have to answer. Are the signatures on that genuine or not? Did the letter issued by, uh, uh, by uh, Sharmila, does it uh, say the facts or not? Again, the letter issued by Vijayama, that, uh, does it address the facts or not? They should be in a position to come out and counter any of these statements and facts mentioned in any of these letters. But conveniently, they don't want to address those issues, but they want to say it has come out from a TDP handler. So what if it comes out from a TDP handler? You know, uh, our, our founder, N.T. Rama Rao, got the rule that, you know, both the, the, the girl child also has equal rights in the property. And Vijayamma has clearly said that when Rashekar Reddiji, when he was alive, he's clearly given a direction to the family on how the distribution has to take place. So it is absolutely clear that Jagan Mohan Reddy is not just uh, trouble, uh, has troubled the people of Andhra Pradesh. Everyone in his family are in tears now. His own sister no, can is I, in can, tears. Can, can I, his mother. Can, can I reply? No, no. Can I reply? Another sister. Okay, another let me sister. Make point. I'm who, coming who to you. Who lost her father? I'm coming who, to you. Who Reddy, is, I'm coming to you. Who was the brother of Rajshekar Reddy? He was murdered, and that sister is also in tears, running from pillar to post. So when I was on the Padayatra along with our leader Lokesh Ji, wherever we go and the public meeting would end, everybody would shout, 
జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి అండ్ షర్మిల క్లియర్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ మెన్షన్ that the property the property which jagan mohan reddy has given it is not out of right it is it is only out of love and affection towards his sister he has given this property to her no court can say that his earnings is a rightful a division to uh, sharmila sharmila has been given this property only out of good will not out of anything and i wanted to remind everybody you see even in reliance partnership also Mukesh Ambani was given the same share Anil Sam Ambani was given the same share after some years Anil Ambani lost most of his shares because he did not do good business and Mukesh Ambani has done business well and he has acquired lot of profits Mr. Reddy let's not Today, give no, examples no, 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 let, no 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 please please no no again this is the topic this is the, the, this is the, was the no, MOU done or not yes absolutely no no please don't interrupt me Mr. Let's Deepak. please focus please on the issue you are tending no, no, yes, and thank you for I'm accepting that the MOU was done so now let's get to the facts no let's get to the facts I am not deviating the subject please please hear to me whatever properties that Rajeshekar Reddy had acquired and whatever properties that Rajeshekar Reddy had inherited inherited even while he was alive he had distributed the property equally to both his kids to sharmila and to jagan mohan reddy after while jagan mohan reddy was while rashid reddy was alive yeah. jagan mohan reddy did his own business separately and sharmila also has done her business separately she had two power plants which she sold but jagan mohan reddy he has made his business he has developed his business and he has acquired a lot of things though though he has acquired the properties on his own because this the sister was asking for some more property no no my Out question here gesture, is This yeah. is an inheritance battle which is nothing new we have seen it, no, no, it is, no, no, all it, the time it, it, it but a, then why no, no, is it, it becoming political in nature is my question here uma sudhir why is it no, that it we are seeing no, no, gdp is, get no, no. into it why is our cp is, spokesperson yeah. speaking on behalf of jagan reddy no no why is our cp will always speak on behalf of jagan mohan okay, reddy okay uma sudhir so, Maria, the oh, i'm asking why the succession okay, issue about the property let uma speak please yes certainly uma go ahead i my question is why tdp is uh, so the inheritance issue have, property uh, issue yes, succession so matter on only for yes. the properties that is a personal matter and that will be either decided in a court of law or by some kind of a mutual settlement the impact that is that it is having on the public perception of jagan mohan reddy that is the important part this thing has been pointed out saying that the letters of sharmila were leaked through the tdp handle i must point out that andhra pradesh is a politically very very polarized state and even though uh, jagan mohan reddy suffered quite a humiliating defeat but the battle between the two sides still is going on in the social media uh, space and in the other political spaces in andhra pradesh and that's where this perception battle that is being fought out once again uh, is certainly damaging for a jagan mohan reddy as well and whether you know in a state where the congress has completely lost its foothold this kind of a battle is not going to help sharmila gain any political foothold either or political brownie points either because uh, in all of this the uh, the person who is uh, you know uh, walking away with uh, uh, laughing at uh, what is happening in the opposite camp is of course the telugu desam janasena that alliance that will play out separately but yes all this playing out in the public domain not a good news for either the ysr family or the ysr cp or even sharmila who uh, if she sees herself as a potential leader for andhra pradesh Uh, okay. the succession battle of course uh, will be settled uh, in a court of law presumably the nclt in fact is going to be hearing about the uh, the shares that she had transferred whether they will be restored to jagan mohan reddy or not and remember jagan is also facing other legal challenges investigating agencies and now he is not in uh, 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 should i say in the camp of the nda so to speak and therefore uh, his space is going to be that much more vulnerable yeah so he is certainly very vulnerable and at this point we are seeing this entire issue play out yes um, uh, mr deepak reddy you wanted to come in please go ahead yes sir yes yes one last word let us consume uh, let us take it uh, take it for that you know what these people are saying true is true the ycp argument so let them come out and say what was the investment into each of the company by jagan and uh, uh, at, at what 
particular point they have done and this is the share what jagan has generated how can uh, he generate this kind of a wealth i mean his his, his individual no, no, no. is we more than all the chief ministers of of india put together how did he make this kind of a money when did he make this kind of a money you come out with those facts and the truth will be out the people will decide we are we are ready to debate about all this issue jagan mohan reddy as the chief minister how jagan mohan reddy has worked this more than all the chief ministers of india put together how did he make this money how did he make this money when were the investments made in the required companies you come out with those figures and the people of india will know what the truth is as simple as that if you don't want to give the share to the sister then come out with these facts then it it will be absolutely clear Where the, where, no. I mean, you know that 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 you are trying to cheat her. The the share the share will not be divided four five times, Mr. Deepak Reddy, or for, or anybody for this instance. The, the property will be shared only once. It has been shared between both the uh, brother and sister. That is over. And now whatever property is remaining with Jagan Reddy, Jagan Mohan Reddy is his own property. That and even untrue. that property, Mr. Sathi, that is untrue. Out of good structure, no, no. Raj Shekhar Reddy has clearly said structure. that the property has to be and distributed now between now the grandchildren, and all of them sister. have a share. He has given it Mrs. quality. Vijay, Vijay Amma has clearly said that it is a joint family. No, no. We have not yet divided. Mr. Reddy, Deepak Reddy, I am curious about. I am curious about one aspect of it. That why is TDP fishing into troubled waters? This is a family dispute. Let it be settled between Shubhaj Sharmila and her brother. Why are you so interested in all the details of this case? How does it benefit you politically? We 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 know the kind of the kind the kind of strategy. Let him speak. What Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy played out on on Sharmila. Hmm. We just want to support a lady who is fighting all by herself. A, a wicked you brother, and you know the the kind of torture what he is doing, doing, doing to him, and Congress we want to expose Jagan Mohan Reddy's character to the people of Andhra Pradesh. We want to expose Jagan Mohan Reddy's character to the people of Andhra Pradesh, and we feel that a person like this does not deserve to be in politics in the first place. A person like Jagan Mohan Reddy does not does not deserve to be in politics. He has to be sent home. And we have to expose his true character to the people of yes. Andhra Pradesh. That is our agenda, and nothing more than that. No, but how do you forget that uh, Vice Chair Mila is actually uh, Congress Chief of the State? How does it work for you politically? Yes, woman, I understand. That's a great uh, thought to have to yeah, support a woman who is, you know, undergoing this fight. But then she is also your political opponent in the state. No, let me speak for one let, minute. Let, 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 let me speak for two minutes. One minute, please. Let me clarify his position. Let me be brutally no, no, honest. Let me be brutally honest. Deepak, Deepak, what's your thought? Let me be brutally honest. Yes, Deepak, ready, go ahead. Mr. Patel, yes. ready. One second. Huh. One second. Let me complete. Let me yes. complete. Yes. Let me be brutally honest. Hmm. Congress party is dead. Almost ten years ago in Andhra Pradesh, there is no Congress party. You know, even the last election has proven that they haven't received one 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 and a half percent vote share also. Okay. And they don't have any representation in any office anywhere in the state okay. of Andhra Pradesh. Okay, Pullara, so one minute, please. Go, go, let go, me give you go, the last go, word here. Pullara, you know what is playing out here is much more than what means the eye. I would say, yes, Vijay Ma has taken a position. The party is saying that she should be in a neutral position. Then, but why should a mother take a neutral position here? She feels that her daughter has been wronged. uh she deserves much more and she has taken a position so right or wrong i mean we can sit in judgment but the fact here it's is that jagan reddy is politically at his weakest how does it help him to actually antagonize members of his family also it doesn't matter he is at a position where it doesn't matter i mean with due respect to mr deepak reddy it doesn't matter he has lost he has come down to 40% a few more stones this way that it doesn't matter what will matter is the first legal action by either party we'll come to know the documentation then we'll know the facts i don't agree that this is new in andhra i distinctly remember what happened to nt ramarao in 95 i was a witness very well uma ji also knows this is nothing new they brutal family fights brutal nothing new and i believe that we have to wait for some court order some court submissions to see which are the documents yes i agree mr deepak reddy has quoted the letter of uh, vijayma but are they legally solid did rajshekar reddy write a will 
or he just made a pronouncement. Okay. All these things. Uma Sudhir come wants up. to come in. Uma Sudhir, please go ahead. Thirty seconds to you. One thing is very clear: washing dirty linen in public is not helping either Vice Vice Raj Chakravarti's family, either Jagan Mohan Reddy or Sharmila. They are not going to benefit from this. Who benefits is the TDP. But also remember, extending this hand of help, enemy's enemy is a friend, and therefore the TDP certainly fishing in troubled waters is not something unnatural for any political party or any political leader. But remember, Maria, that. Politics changes, and mm. right now you have uh, the the Janasena uh, and the Telugu Desam and the BJP together. Even that, there could be distances that come in, and then there could be realignments. And in a state where the, you do not have a Congress party that is uh, that is strong, it is dead ten years ago, as was rightly pointed out. So therefore, Sharmila, if she is able to get you some vote of that and a support from a Sharmila, could change. Uh, equations, political equations in the future. If she is not able to, uh, you know, get her foothold as a Congress leader, there she could be looking at other possibilities as well in the future because uh, political alignments do change, and therefore uh, for the TDP as of now, they are certainly going to be fishing in uh, troubled waters, and that is no matter of uh, surprise to anyone. All right, thank you so much for joining us, Uma Sudhir Pullara, Anurag Naidu, Deepak Reddy, and Satish Reddy. With that, it's a wrap from me. I'll be putting out this uh, debate on uh, NDTV.com. Thanks so much for watching. 